Hello everybody, this is Dr. Tani Issa, professor of pathology. I make these videos for all medical students. Hope someone may find it helpful. We are going to talk about tuberculosis. What is tuberculosis? Definition of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a worldwide chronic infectious granulomatous disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis that most often affect the lungs. So it is an inflammatory disease, it is chronic, it is very infectious, it forms granuloma, and it is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, and the most affected organ are the lungs. Tuberculosis is an old disease, and we want to know everything about this disease, so we're going to spend a few minutes talking about the history of tuberculosis. Consumption, sizes, white plague are all terms used to refer to tuberculosis throughout history. Look at the child. This is, what, this is the meaning of consumption or cachexia. See the look at the child. Uh, in Europe, it was known as the Great White Plague and named so for the loss of skin color of those infected. Even if researchers theorize that humans first acquired it in Africa 5,000 years ago, there is evidence that the first tuberculosis infection happened 9,000 years ago. Signs of the disease have been found in Egyptian mummies dated 3,500 years BC. And this is an Egyptian mummy found in the British Museum with tubercular decay in the spine. This is Pott's disease of the spine and this tuberculosis of the spine in an Egyptian mummy. Evidence indicates that hospitals for tuberculosis existed in Egypt as early as 1500 BC. It appears likely that Akhenaton and his wife Nefertiti both died from tuberculosis. The Egypt, even the Egyptian Epirus Papyrus around 1500 BC described a pulmonary consumption associated with cervical lymph nodes. It also recommended surgical lancing of the cyst. Tuberculosis also known in, in ancient India and it was known as Yaxma 1500 BC. And look at the man, he, this is not an old man, but this was the disease, um, this is the effect of the disease, the cachexia induced by this disease, the consumption induced by the disease. In ancient China, it was also known and uh, known as au, which means consumption tuberculosis. So it was given, tuberculosis was given so many names each of which refer to the dying or the consuming effect of the illness or the cachexia induced by this illness. So this is a serious disease and we are going to spend a few minutes talking about the epidemiology of this disease. Uh, tuberculosis is estimated to affect 1.7 billion individuals worldwide. 8 to 10 million new cases reported annually. Well, this means that every 10 seconds, one person fell ill with tuberculosis. And it means that every 30 seconds, one person in the world died of tuberculosis. See how serious is the disease. 2 million deaths each year, a total second only to HIV disease. 11.5 million people are infected with both HIV and tuberculosis. And 70% of these 11.5 million co-infection cases are in sub-Saharan Africa. And without proper treatment, approximately 90% of those living with HIV die within a month of contracting tuberculosis. Mycobacterium tuberculosis as a causative agent for tuberculosis. The bacillus causing tuberculosis is called Mycobacterium tuberculosis, and it was identified and described on uh, 24th of March 
1882 by Robert Koch. You know that. Most people know that. He received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1905 for this discovery. Thanks to Robert Koch for this discovery. Now, 1882, Robert Koch stated that one-seventh of all human beings die of tuberculosis. And if one considers only the productive middle age groups, tuberculosis carries away one-third and even more of these. Tuberculosis in the United States, 1882 to 2010. In uh, 1900 to 1040, tuberculosis rates decreased in U.S. and in Western Europe, even before uh, TB drugs were available. And this is due to better nutrition and less crowded housing and the public health effort, the earlier diagnosis and the TB sanatoria and surgery. In 1940s to 1960s, GB-specific antimicrobial agents were discovered, and at first we give single drugs, but due to resistance, single drugs produce resistance, we changed to multiple drugs. And in 19, 1960s and 1980s, tuberculosis is considered a non-problem. And the TB treatment moved to private sector, and there was loss of TB-specific public health infra infrastructure. In 1985 to 1992, tuberculosis re-emerged as a threat, and the number of TB cases in USA rose by 20%. And this is due to the increase in people with HIV and immigrants and those in jail or homeless shelter. Because of public health effort, the number of cases of tuberculosis has declined since 1993. In 2010, the lowest number of reported cases in U.S. 2011, continuing need. We need new drugs, shorter, simpler, and less expensive treatment regimen. And we need support for global TB prevention and control activities. We need rapid diagnostic tests and better coordination of tuberculosis and HIV prevention treatment programs. And we need reliable access to TB drugs. 54 million lives were saved through TB diagnosis and treatment between 2000 and 2017. Ending the TB epidemic by 2030 is among the health targets of sustainable development goals. Multidrug resistance is still a public health crisis and a health security threat. Currently, there are about 14,000 new cases of active tuberculosis in the United States annually, about half of which occur in foreign-born people. Incidence of tuberculosis 2016 and the cases reported by per 100,000 uh, 100, people. This is according to the WHO. South Africa is the top country by incidence of tuberculosis in the world. As of 2016, incidence of tuberculosis in South Africa was 781 cases per 100,000 people. See, this is very high incidence. The top five countries also include Lesotho, Kiribati, this is Lesotho, Kiribati, Philippines, and Mozambique. In Mozambique, it is 551 per 100,000 people. Still very high. Thank you so much. In the next video, we are going to talk about etiology of tuberculosis.